Brock, as you can see here, he's applying the, he's got the thermal compound, and he's going to put just a dot, just a small amount, right on the center of the CPU. Right? If you put too much, it'll spread out past the side of the CPU and create a big mess. Right? Okay. All right, let's take a look, um, Brock, at how that cooling unit ended up after you wiped it down with that coffee filter. You can see how cleaning he was able to get it. Also, Steve had recommended maybe if you had a little alcohol, you could use a little alcohol to clean off too. You can see Roy's got that. Roy, why don't you show us how that one came out? Came All right, very good. Yeah, that's nice and clean right there. Okay, yeah, we don't want to. The first time I made a, uh, first time I put together a computer, I left the sticker on top of the CPU, and then I put the um, cooling unit on top of the CPU with the sticker still on top of the CPU. And so you can imagine what happened. The paper sticker on top of the CPU didn't allow the heat to transfer from the CPU to the cooling unit and it blew out the CPU burned out within you know a few hours so that was a good learning experience for me many many years ago okay so why they would put a sticker on top of the CPU is beyond me but how, how do we want to worry into this do you think it would cool better this way or this way you want to line it with the widest part to the airflow yep the widest part to the airflow. So if the air is coming from left to right there in the case, right, you can see the fans, and you want the width of the cooling unit to be um, facing it, basically. All right, that looks good. It looks like there's still plenty of room. Notice how tall that cooling unit is. If we had had a narrower or a case, that would not have worked out. But since this is a pretty tall server case, it'll be no problem. Now these to be applied evenly on all sides so it try to make it go down all right so Brock's not screwing them all the way down and tightening them he's going to get them all in there about halfway and then proceed to continue to tighten them down okay now that I actually got them so they're threading in there I'm going to alternate so it keeps it going down evenly 